What has God done since August 1st? Well, honestly, it feels really good to move. It was exhausting. We did so much in those three days. But we were beginning to feel stuck in that place, even though we were so thankful for it. So taking a step away from there is a load off our shoulders and our hearts. August 2nd was a Sunday. Heidi really wanted to do nothing but pack until it was all done. All those undone things, stepping over stuff everywhere in the house, and feeling alone in all the work that still needed to be done was threatening to undo her. Nonetheless, I made a case for going to church, and we were really glad we did. The sermon was awesome. He taught on what he judges to be the most important verse in the Bible, Matthew 5, 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. The teaching was a full, meaty helping of the good news about Jesus. I could not get enough of it. We also got to talk to a few friends that we so wish we had more time to get to know. Guys who live and lead by the word of God. In the midst of our move, we still do little ritual things like pretending to be overwhelmingly sad about how much we will miss them while they're taking a nap. Over the course of the next six hours, we turned a mess of a house into a decently organized trailer load that we would take south with us on the next day, August 3rd. August 3rd. It really does me good to see our kids making the Bible a high priority in their lives even on big, busy days. Katie confessed her desire to follow Jesus just this year, and by the example of her big brother and sister, she knew just where she needed to start. All right, here we go. This is uh, a mostly emptied out house. I'm just thinking about America and stuff. So here's our ride. We're only taking one of the trailers. We're taking two cars and, um, yeah, picked up on the banks of Plum Creek on my way out. You know, all those things you think, we're going to make another trip so I didn't get everything, but that's a big trailer and it's, it's pretty full. Um, yeah, so here we go, on to the next step. It's a little bit surreal. I wish we would have had more time to talk with our neighbors and, uh, Show each other the love of Christ. God's, God knows what he's doing. He has plans and he redeems things for us. Before we left, Heidi had to get this little boy's nine-month pictures. This will always be the house he was born into. Uh, so I was going to do this uh, little update here, but I just noticed that there's pants on the hood of the car. Did you jump out and get those too? <laughs> okay, take two. We, uh, we're loaded up and uh, ready to roll out of here. We've been here longer than we anticipated, but uh, we're thankful for our time and anticipating what God's going to do. We've got a light load back here of kids because we're taking two cars, but and also two of them are at an aunt and uncle's house and one is working. So, uh, yeah, God, we pray that you would go before us. Um, I know that, yeah, the freeways are dangerous places, and we got a load here on an untested trailer. Um, I pray that you would show us favor, and we know that you plan ahead the good works you have for us to do, God. So help us to remember that in difficulty and in good. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Alrighty. Let's roll.
Oh, mom will do it, won't she? Step was to drop stuff off for a garage sale at Heidi's parents' place. When you're moving, it's always great to have a lot of hands to help. Janu and Papa's house. We're gonna miss this place and these people. There we go. We're almost, almost there. Yep. One more step done, and we move back to Molly. Walk by faith. Then we were off to the place that we will live for the next month, Lord willing. It was so good to see the smile on my wife's face. Hey, hey buddy. You gonna fall down the stairs? It's a really beautiful house. The kids were all excited about a new place. No one was more excited than Harley. And in hindsight, I'm kind of glad that Heidi and Harley let the rest of us in the house. They really wanted to keep it looking just like they found it with all its enchantment. It's a good thing I grabbed on the banks of Plum Creek. Consistency is so, so important for kids who live such a life of regular upheaval. What? Well, this place is not too shabby, huh? It's very nice. Yeah. They always say that you're supposed to come home on a furlough and uh, have a relaxing time so you can recuperate from your cross-cultural experience. And that's never been our experience. But uh, we've got about 27 days to prove it can be done. <laughs>